left hand side should be the negatively charged electrode because anode is negatively charged. Right hand side should be positively charged electrode because that is the cathode. In another way, the left hand side should be the electrode where oxidation takes place. The right hand side of the electrode should be where the reduction takes place. So, one can easily remember this by remembering that on the right hand side we have reduction and on the left hand side we have oxidation. So, a cell should always be represented in this particular fashion because this is a convention. So, from the representation of the cell itself we will understand where is oxidation taking place and where is reduction taking place because cell is always represented with reduction on the right hand side, oxidation on the left hand side. Now, we will discuss if you construct a cell like this by using a single sulphate solution whose molarity is 1, copper sulphate solution whose molarity is 1. Let us assume that the temperature at which the cell operates is 25 degrees Celsius and the atmosphere is 1 atmosphere. If you measure the voltage of the cell, how much would, would be the voltage of the cell under these conditions? We constructed the cell in a particular way. We constructed the cell by taking zinc in single sulphate solution, but the solution is of 1 molar. Copper in copper sulphate solution, but the solution is of 1 molar. Ten, the temperature is kept at 25 degrees Celsius and pressure is kept at 1 atmosphere. Under these circumstances, what will be the voltage of the cell? So, we have set up a cell with the zinc as anode and copper as cathode. You know this part is negative, this part is positive. This is set up under certain conditions. The temperature kept is 25 degrees Celsius. The pressure kept is 1 atmosphere and concentration of single sulphate is 1 molar, copper sulphate also is 1 molar. So, this we represent in the bracket. Uh, apart from the concentration, we represent the temperature as well as pressure also in the brackets. Now, when you represent a cell in this condition, under these circumstances, the concentration is set, temperature is set, pressure is set. Under these conditions, we say the cell is under standard condition. Now, when the cell is under standard condition, if you try to find out the voltage generated by the cell, you will find the voltage 1.1 volt. Now, we will examine why this voltage comes to be 1.1 volt. The way cell setup is in these circumstances, only under these circumstances voltage comes to be 1.1 volt. And this is what we are going to discuss why it is 1.1 volt. Now, you can see the zinc is getting oxidized, copper is getting reduced. The tendency of a metal to get reduced is called reduction potential. So, zinc has got certain tendency to get reduced, copper has got a certain tendency to get reduced. Their tendency to get reduced are not equal, they are different. If you examine which has got more tendency to get reduced, you will see that copper has got a more tendency to get reduced. That is why it is undergoing reduction and you know that, that is why we call it a cathode. The tendency of zinc to get reduced is comparatively lesser than copper. The one which has got less tendency to get reduced will not get reduced, instead it will get oxidized. But how will we know which has got more tendency to get reduced and which has got less tendency to get reduced? To understand this, there is a series 
we call it electrochemical series or reactivity series where all these tendencies are tabulated. You will see that the reduction potential of zinc comes to be minus 0 0.76 volts and reduction potential of copper comes to be plus 0 0.34 volts. Now, from the value itself, you will understand the value of reduction potential value of copper is plus 0 0.34, which means it is more than the reduction potential value of zinc. So, the tendency of copper to get, to get reduced is more than that of zinc. So, copper gets reduced, zinc gets oxidized. To find out the voltage generated, we call it EMF of the cell. You just have to take this formula, the reduction potential value, we call it E0 reduction of the right hand side minus E0 reduction of left hand side, which is as good as saying it is E0 reduction of the reduction half minus E0 reduction of the left hand half which is oxidation part. Now, from the series we understand that the reduction potential value of the right hand side which is copper is plus 0 0.34 and reduction potential of the left hand side which is zinc is minus 0 0.76 and the value comes to be 1.1 volts. So, the voltage generated by a cell or EMF of a cell depends on the reduction potential values of the reduction half and the oxidation half. Since this EMF is or the cell is under standard conditions, we will call it standard EMF of the cell and it is represented by the EM of 0 or you also write it as E0 of the cell. So, E0 of this particular cell is 1.1 volt. 1.1 volt is obtained because of this reason. It depends on the reduction potential values of the electrodes. The next discussion is how did we get all these values? This electrochemical series tabulates all these values. So, reduction potential value of zinc is minus 0 0.76, reduction potential values of copper is plus 0 0.34. We will discuss how these values are tabulated. The way electrochemical series is generated. So, it is, uh, so what it means is, how do we know that the electrode potential value or reduction potential value of copper is plus 0 0.34 and reduction potential value of zinc is minus 0 0.76. Now, before we continue with electrochemical series, the way it is generated, uh, you just have to understand this also. When you say reduction potential value of copper is plus 0 0.34, it actually represents tendency of copper to get reduced. Now, instead of that, if you say the oxidation potential value of copper, it would mean the tendency of copper to get oxidized and obviously the oxidation potential value of copper would be minus 0 0.34 voltage and that of zinc would be plus 0 0.76 volts. But normally we use reduction potential values for all the calculations. So, oxidation potential values are not used to find out EMF of the cell, but does not mean that oxidation potential value cannot be used. You can use oxidation potential value as well to find out EMF of the cell. The next discussion is how to get these values, reduction potential values. So, now we will examine how this reduction potential values of the electrodes are found out. You know reduction potential value of zinc is minus 0 0.76 volts, reduction potential value of copper is plus 0 0.34 volts. So, we will learn how these values are obtained. To begin with, the reduction potential value 
as you understood is tendency of a metal to get reduced. Now, a metal cannot get reduced unless there is something to get oxidized also. So, what we need, what we do is we compare this tendency of zinc to get reduced with respect to another metal another element which is hydrogen. So, we consider hydrogen as the standard. So, this particular value actually represents tendency of zinc to get reduced with respect to hydrogen and this value represents tendency of copper to get reduced with respect to hydrogen which means hydrogen is considered as the standard. So, the standard we considered the reduction potential value of the standard which is considered which is hydrogen it is taken as 0. So, all these values are with respect to hydrogen. So, the entire electrochemical series is generated by finding out the reduction potential values of all these metals with respect to hydrogen. Now, we will examine how exactly these values are generated. As I mentioned if a metal has to get reduced there must be something which get oxidized and here we have selected hydrogen as the standard. So, what we need to do is couple zinc with the hydrogen and make a cell. So, we have to construct a cell between zinc and hydrogen. Find out EMF of the whole cell. EMF of the cell must be E of the reduction half minus E of oxidation half. Out of these two, one uh, has to be zinc, one has to be hydrogen. The hydrogen part the value is already assigned to 0. EMF of the cell can be found out by constructing a cell which means you are getting the reduction potential value of the metal. We will examine how exactly this is done. Suppose I construct a cell by taking zinc rod in zinc sulphate and hydrogen electrode on the other side. Let us represent hydrogen electrode like this for the time being. We will try to understand how exactly hydrogen electrode is constructed later. So, we construct a cell by using the zinc electrode in zinc sulphate solution. The other electrode has to be hydrogen. We will study how exactly this electrode is constructed. Right now, let us assume that we have constructed a cell and find out the voltage of the cell, which means EMF of this L is known to us. Obviously, this is supposed to be the standard EMF E0 because the single sulphate taken here is 1 molar temperature is 25 degree Celsius and pressure is 1 atmosphere. In hydrogen electrode, the molarity of HCl taken is 1, hydrogen gas is passed through this at 1 atmosphere and the temperature is maintained at 25 degree Celsius. Now, the voltage measured is, the voltage of the cell is known to us. EMF of this part is known to us because this is standard hydrogen electrode. We are trying to find out the reduction potential of zinc electrode. So, EMF of the cell is equal to E of right minus E of left. E of right is 0 because we have assigned it as 0 being the standard electrode. The left side that is zinc electrode is what we are trying to find out let it be x. EMF of the cell we have already found out using the voltmeter. So, EMF of the cell we know and you got it as 0 0.76 volts. What it means is the reduction potential value of zinc is minus 0 0.76. So, EMF of zinc electrode is generated, it comes to be minus 0 0.76 volts. Now, what you need to understand here is the zinc is acting as the oxidation half 
hydrogen is acting as the reduction half. When we try to do the same thing with the copper, it will be the other way around. Your copper will act as the reduction half, hydrogen will act as the oxidation half. Which means the hydrogen electrode is able to act as both oxidation half as well as reduction half. It depends on the other metal with which it is attached. With the zinc, it is acting as the reduction half, but with the copper, it will act as oxidation half. So, this is how the entire electrochemical series is generated. The standard we have selected is hydrogen electrode. Now, let us see how exactly hydrogen electrode is constructed. There is a solution of hydrochloric acid in a tumbler whose molarity is 1. We take a glass tube through which hydrogen gas can be passed through. Hydrogen gas is passed through this gas tube, a glass tube at one atmosphere. Through the glass tube, there is a metal conductor. At the end of the conductor, there is a platinum plate. This is used for making a electrical contact. Now, this entire arrangement is called hydrogen electrode and its reduction potential value is taken as 0. Now, why there is a hydrochloric acid as well as hydrogen gas, you can easily understand because this cell should be able to act as an oxidation half as well as a reduction half. When it has to accept electrons, the hydrogen ions accept electrons to form hydrogen gas and it acts as the reduction half because it is getting, I am sorry, oxidation half because it is getting reduced. And when it has to act as an oxidation half, this will undergo oxidation like this to form two electrons. So, the cell is, the hydrogen electrode is able to act both as a reduction half as well as oxidation, oxidation half as the case may be. So, hydrogen is coming through this tube like this. Yeah, there is a small error here. It should be coming into the glass tube. Now, you can see H plus is getting uh, electrons and it is accepting electrons. Therefore, this is a reduction part. And here it is oxidation, 2 H2 giving you 4 H plus plus, it is a mistake here, 4 electrons. So, this electrode is able to act as an oxidation half as well as a reduction half because of this reason. So, whether a metal is getting oxidized or reduced, you use hydrogen electrode as a standard electrode. So, the electrochemical series we have discussed, we have discussed the way these values are generated.